I'm Steve Caverno on behalf of Extra Village, here today to talk to you about building a character. Now we're going to look at supporting characters. Supporting characters in a play are characters that are somehow related to the protagonist accomplishing their goal. Uh, in Hamlet, supporting characters would be Laertes, who is an extension of Claudius. He is an extension Claudius uses to do his bidding. There's also the queen, who spelling, who is, uh, is married to Claudius. This creates conflict with Hamlet. Hamlet tries to align the queen with him, and uh, she is resistant. You know, th this, this is a major emotional conflict for Hamlet. So uh, there's also uh, Ophelia, who is Hamlet's love interest at one point and is spurned, and her father is killed by Hamlet, Polonius, who is another sub-character. He is an advisor to the king, and he is accidentally killed by Hamlet. Hamlet thinks he's stabbing his uncle, and he accidentally stabs Polonius. That character furthers the plot. This character is doing the king's bidding. So each of these characters are related to the antagonist. This is Ophelia, related to Hamlet. So each of these characters, and, and they're all intertwined to these two characters. So, so we get to see how the supporting characters feed the primary plot of the story. And that is what makes compelling drama. You have many characters gathered together in one plot line. And that, that is, is basically the function of supporting characters.